what is all included in the Moonshiner roll and uh, kind of just go through everything that we have with the 20 ranks that are now available after purchasing the Moonshiner roll. We'll get into some other of the missions here in just a little bit and of course we got to get a ton of experience points so that we can go ahead and upgrade our our role as quickly as possible. So anyway, uh, I was looking through a lot of these and they're actually kind of interesting. So I'm gonna kind of get into it here in this video. And if you guys wanna continue seeing videos like this so you guys get the most information as possible, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And also don't forget to hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And on a side note, I have a lot of other games that I do play here on the channel. So definitely check those out as well. And I do have a website, which is GamerCorey.com, so that you guys can submit some awesome video clips of either Red Dead Online or other games over on my website. That link will be down in the description so that you guys can submit that video footage over to me for a future montage. So anyway, let's kind of go and take a look at the, the role itself, which is uh, kind of interesting. And you're going to see what I mean here in, in just a moment. But if we actually go into the Moonshiner role, obviously... We're still only a rank one. We we just started it. Uh, we have plenty of tokens to buy everything that we need, but I just want to break this all down for you guys here. So obviously you start by unlocking two of the special tokens to be able to unlock items. And if you've saved any of them from previous rolls, then you should be just fine to purchase whatever you want with this roll. So once we hit rank basically two, I guess we'll say rank one. So once we actually hit rank Moonshiner rank number two, we'll be able to un unlock the Berry Cobbler Moonshine, which you can see that the ingredients include canned peaches, red raspberry, and peach. So that's interesting because you have to have canned peaches and then also looks like fresh peach as well. So uh, I don't know if I'd necessarily call that a Berry Cobbler. You know, if there was like blackberries in there, that'd be nice too, but uh, I guess less for us to have to go and, and pick. But so there's actually a reason now to keep even more of the herbs that you guys can actually pick each and every single day. So that's that's actually quite nice. So that will unlock at rank two. Then we're going to get more special tokens at rank three. We're going to get in invited to bootlegger opportunities. So basically, uh, like the collector or the trader rules that we have access to once you get that rank four There's probably another one at rank 12 or so That's roughly where it was at for the other ones unless there's only one bootlegger option Kind of like the the trade right now and that's only the trade route So we'll just have to kind of see if that's an option, but we'll get that up Well get the the opportunity to participate in bootlegger opportunities once we hit rank four at rank five, we'll get to be able to dance with the uh, flare. That's going to be the bold dance. And then we get uh, two more tokens as well. Uh, moving on to number six, we get the Wild Creek Moonshine. Now, this one's really interesting for me because uh, Wild Creek Moonshine includes wild mint, vanilla flower, and creek plum. Well, wild mint and vanilla flower are pretty easy to get pretty much anywhere. But creek plum, there's actually only a couple locations for every cycle. And with the cycle slightly changing a little bit, that could be a little bit harder to get. So if you don't actually have that on hand, that means that you might have to uh, either wait or do other things. Now, the thing that's really interesting about this, and this is why I stopped right here, is some of the collectibles that you get for, from Mad Mazar to complete sets, you actually use in your moonshine business. You're actually going to see some more here in just a little bit. But that's the first one, which is the Creek Plum. So it's going to be, hopefully they'll add more locations that you guys can actually find Creek Plum with some of the updates that's going on with the cycle roll, uh, the cycles in general. So we'll just kind of have to to see, but that's, that's one of them. Uh, the next one is going to be an ingredient satchel upgrade. Now, I believe we actually already had an ingredient satchel upgrade, but we'll be able to do that again. So I'm hoping that we'll actually be able to carry more than 20 of our ingredients, which will be absolutely amazing if that's the case with that one uh rank eight we'll get two more special tokens at rank nine we're going to be new buyer order so take on an extra buyer order so that's kind of cool uh rank 10 we're going to get two more special tokens so it's not a big deal there uh the next one is going to be a cheerful dance at rank 11 at rank 12 we'll get a recipe for moonshine which is going to be the spiced island moonshine and you can see here there's another collectible item from madame nazar right right there 
Uh, so that's going to be the Caribbean rum. So you need canned apricots, which you can purchase, golden currant, which is abundant pretty much everywhere, and then you do need that Caribbean rum. So there's two ingredients that you're going to probably not have full items now, and there's only one Caribbean rum, as far as I know, every cycle. So either the, hopefully they put more, or you might only be able to do this once per day. We'll just have to see how that kind of turns out. The next two are just special uh, token unlocks, so no big deal there. Uh, at rank 15, we're going to get Master Distiller. Reduce the time taken to create a batch of Moonshine, which will be amazing. Uh, 16, you'll get more tokens. At 17, you'll get the Material Satchel. So, again, we'll be able to carry more items of the of materials on us. That'd be great. Another special token at rank 18. At 19, we're going to get Protection. So we can greatly reduce the risk of attacks um, with the protection pamphlet, I guess. And then rank 20 is uh, a rowdy dance, and then you'll also become a, um, a distinguished moonshiner as well. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at what is available as far as the the kits that you can purchase for some of these. So there's so you're gonna unlock certain types of moonshine um, capabilities up top. But then you can also per, uh, purchase some of the pamphlets and other things here down below. Now, there's not really ingredients like you would for the moonshine itself, but it's going to be different options. Like this one, you have the toxic um, moonshine pamphlet. So you can craft a toxic moonshine, and you can see that there's oleander sage, milkweed, or yarrow, and then a moonshine bottle in order to do that. We have the, the some gloves. They're super expensive eight gold for that yikes uh we have the norfolk roadster the new horses that we get options for with the new moonshiner roll we're also going to get a bar expansion that we can go and buy which that one i might actually do right off the bat i have plenty of tokens you guys can see and i've got a plenty of money if you guys want to know how to make more gold and money check out my other videos because i do show you guys how to do that as well uh, the next one is going to be a Levin's Gun Belt. That's $250 plus a one token to buy it. And then you're also going to get the, the Gatlingberg. Um, so it's a, an assembled outfit for a, a novice, um, a novice uh, moonshiner. And then we got the Inverse Saddle at $550. So we'll have to take a look at that one a little bit more. Because uh, some of these sat uh, saddles that we have access to in some of the rules are actually really good saddles. Now I do really prefer the Nokodoja saddle, but if this one compares to it, might have to look at it. Uh, then for the next set in the Promising Kit, uh, we have another buckle. Oh, we have a buckle, the other one was a belt. So this is the Daro belt a buckle at 6 gold. We're going to be able to get uh, flammable moonshine $20 retail, so a highly potent alcohol that can be poured and set alight. Not suitable for combustion or consumption. It's for combustion. Uh, we get the sawed off shotgun variant um, in the promising kit, which is $450 to do that, which I, I actually really like how that looks. It looks really good. We're getting the, the, hip, the hip flask, so you can kind of show off that you are a a moonshiner if you want to and then we get the uh, condenser upgrade which is $825 allows the operation to produce an average strength of moonshine this will attract more patrons to the bar so you can make more money that's that's the goal that that's the goal anyway uh, and we also get access to the dong heart which is a uh, an outfit that we can wear, $348.25. It just seems like a, a really... Why didn't, you just, why didn't they just round it up to like $350? And then we get the band expansion as well. That's $850 to do that. Uh, we get a slick back, which is a heavily uh, pomade style. Um, that's two gold for that. We get the Levin's holster, $150 for that one. Again, these are all going to cost one or two um, tokens to unlock. Just keep that in mind. The Pittsburgh, uh, $446.75 for that outfit, which that one actually looks pretty good. I do like that one. And then this one, during the established kit, uh, the Norfolk Roaster, where you get the variants in coats, $550 for the retail on that one. Uh, down here, we've got the Polished Copper Upgrade, which if you have the your Twitch Prime and your Social Club linked together, that's the one you're going to get for free. So that could save you $875. 
before we didn't know exactly how much this was going to cost but that upgrade will be free so it's going to allow the operation to produce strong moonshine and it will attract more people to the bar as well um and then we get the monocle there that's eight dollars or eight gold not eight dollars and then last in the the kit is the distinguished kit and that will allow us to get access to another outfit which that one i i'm a, for whatever reason i really like that one i don't know i don't know why i'll probably purchase it just to purchase it i don't know how often i'll actually wear it but um the winkles burrow it's 545 dollars the hangover emote 300 dollars for that one which is seems like a, a really expensive for an emote and then here is the 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 distinguished rank 20 horse and uh so you can actually have the roadsters for the variants. So, ah, there we go. I, I can't wait to see what the stats on that one are. And I'll probably end up buying one of those horses, to be honest. And then last but not least is the top hat that we have access to, which is $250 once they become a rank 20 moonshiner. But that is everything that's included with the roll. Hopefully you guys uh, like the brand new roll. I can't wait to start digging into it a little bit more. We've only done one part of the, the setup missions. And we're going to get back here in just a little bit. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos and want us to continue seeing more of these videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.